Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will use this outdoor acry acrylic colors from Arteza. They sent me this and some other colors to do a review. Uh, I didn't use the, these paints before so this is the first time. Let's try to do a dip and we will see what we can get with these uh, paints. I just think that I didn't take my bag here. So, hope this will be okay. So, uh, there are 20 colors. Marshmallow white, electric yellow, candy apple, chocolate, lizard green, sapphire, shark, coal black, Dijon, Olympic blue, battleship gray, amethyst, papaya, whip, jungle green, mango, shocking pink, grape, Tangelo, Persian green, gold and silver and I mixed uh, four colors already uh, see I mixed um, this papaya whip so I can put it back in amethyst jungle green And grape and I still have this Persian green that I will mix now so you will see uh, how this paint looks I will just bring you closer so uh, these are 59 milliliter bottles and the uh, colors are very thick so because I will not use a lot of paint I just add this much whoops you see just a tiny little bit and this is my pouring medium 60% uh, Bessner acrylic binder and Dufa acrylic emulsion and I will add about three times more than I add uh, than I have paint so uh, as I said, they are very, very thick. Uh, and uh, with my pouring medium, they mix really, really nice, you see. It's already done. Almost. Check the consistency. A little too thick. So I will add a drop of water. And check again just a little bit more and today I will do just a regular dip not spiral dip because um, I will not put this in my squeeze bottles yet so Two greens, oops, 
and this uh, papaya amethyst and whoops I forget names but I told you already the names for a white base I will use my regular white mixture uh, it's uh, Arteza 2 Arteza titanium white mixed with my pouring medium but this is not outdoor white it is it's just regular acrylic white I will just spread this white base coat where is my palette knife uh, I have a lot to do these days because new school year is coming and we will we have a lot of preparations and all these things and my uh, auction on Sunday don't forget to come if you like to buy some of my art and next week I will do the giveaway for my um, supporters on PayPal and for to thank you all of you my subscribers I I'm over 15 50 uh, thousand already so this will be next week because I just didn't have time this this week to do this um, I will let you know how to participate so but uh, all this uh, with flora and nox and all this, this bad things that happened in the last um, month it's just um, that's why things are a little I'm a little behind uh, I want to do this uh, when I come from <clears throat> my vacation but as you know it, it what happened with Flora so I didn't have Nerane Nerane oh, okay uh, so I will just do my regular dip. I will draw a flower. Consistency is really nice, and uh, this uh, amethyst or grape. This is grape. I remembered. Um, it's really nice violet and it's a little shiny I think I don't know or just look like that uh, we will see if how this works this paints works with dips and I will add my metallic here in between just to see how this uh, paint will react with my metallic so maybe I can do some spiral dips too if this will work okay 
and now and this is amethyst I think not I think I know <laughs> uh, first one was grape and this is amethyst Papaya, I think that it was papaya. Maybe I will add just a tiny bit of this grape here on. <clears throat> and I will add some gold here in the middle metallic gold and some green for the leaves I think that these paints are thickened up a little bit while I was preparing uh, my table and um, camera and whoops you always have to check your paint unless you have it in squeeze bottles so if you have them in squeeze bottles you can't check You can, but you have to pour, pour, pour it um, out. And so this Persian green, it's uh, kind of pale turquoisey color. Just try to get this out here because I think that this may bother me later. And I think that I will add just a little bit of this metallic silver on the leaves too. to get maybe some nice lacing here we will see what will happen I didn't uh, this uh, canvas is just um, dry canvas so This time I will press just from the middle to the outside. <clears throat> see that it's way thicker or well, maybe I just think so
an iris flower, I think. So, definitely not as much lacing as uh, with my regular acrylic mix uh, it is different uh, I will leave this uh, skin too to see uh, how this uh, dries on dry on the plastic and see if I will be able to use it uh, maybe I should use my background color uh, paint uh, this out, outdoor paint too if this that will make any difference but I don't know I would uh, love to have more centered flower, but as you already know, with pouring, you never get, almost never get what you want, so you just have to. see what will happen and sometimes magic happens and sometimes don't so I was hoping for maybe Maybe if I um, thin it down a little more, because I will show you close up. It's uh, some lovely lacing, but I don't know, maybe my mixture was too thick. Because this is really the first time that I use this paint. Uh, I will definitely do it again but first I will try some other paints too and then go with these paints again uh, so just a second oops maybe this will be better because I get so much glare here nice effects nice colors but very similar to effects to my normal normal acrylic paints uh, so I will definitely try this again for now I'm pleased with uh, very happy with these paints because I get some nice lacing and um, I really use just a tiny bit like a heavy body paint 
I can uh, compare the thickness of this paint so you will not need much of this paint and reacts very very similar so definitely want to try some again maybe even a spiral to see what will happen so first impression about this uh, Arteza outdoor paints they are beautiful they are thick I love them but this is the first try so I have to play some more with the consistency this is it for today and see you on the next one bye